atomic bomb supervised by Vice Admiral Blandy at Bikini Atoll in Mid-Pacific. Crews leave the target ships in Bikini Lagoon, many for the last time. The B-29, Dave's Dream, takes off from Kwajalein to deliver the bomb, equal to 50,000 tons of TNT, while an electric metronome counts the final seconds. Cover your eyes. Now, I'm away! A deadly radioactive cloud rises over seven miles. Our ships are tangled wrecks. Battleship Nevada is towed into position for the second test, Test Baker. King Judah of Bikini watches with Admiral Blandy as LST-60 moves into place. The bomb is suspended beneath LST-60 and is to be fired by remote control. The technicians and Vice Admiral Parsons leave LST-60 and the bomb. At the control room, crossroads personnel are checked, then locked in. Dr. Holloway, Los Alamos director, readies the firing circuit. Seconds before eight hour. Fifteen. Cameras are ready aboard ship and in the sky. Two, one, fire. the force that can destroy our world unless we find the road to peace now. Town Atom Test measured a model village in the Nevada desert against the awesome power of nuclear energy. Buildings of various materials went up. A million dollars worth of equipment was installed, including lifelike mannequins and tons of food to measure the contamination caused by radiation. The big dolls were survival town's sole inhabitants. Tanks took part in their first atomic maneuvers, some less than a mile away, the closest yet in any test. Nearly 6,000 persons participated, including troops sheltered by trenches. Many cameras in many locations filmed the single blast. in the desert held vital information on how to survive an enemy attack. With Geiger counters to check the radiation, experts assessed the damage. An aluminum building was left a gaping wreck. Concrete or cinder block houses weathered the blast best. This one was less than a mile away. 
Survival Town's electric wires have become a twisted, tangled mass. Demonstrating the importance of civil defense preparedness, the elaborate exercises proved survival is possible, offering new hope to all who live in the shadow of the atomic age. On the sandy wastes at Yucca Flat, Nevada, a new series of atomic explosions are set off. Tanks are among the obsolete pieces of army equipment being tested in the exercises called Operation Teapot. More than 9,000 servicemen have been assembled at the proving grounds, ready to take their places in forward trenches. In a grim new age of warfare, today's fighting men must be taught survival on an atomic battlefield. While the troops take cover, the Army's giant new 100-inch camera is pointed toward the blast tower. Men tensely eye the control booth as the seconds tick off. The familiar mushroom cloud snakes skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. and shock waves roll over the men huddled in the trenches. Never before have we had such a close-up view. Lighting up the desert skies for miles around, the fierce fireball flare is the signal for instant action. Quickly, the men are ordered to leave their positions. The explosion's radioactive fallout is almost as dangerous as the blast itself. In the vitally important precaution of dusting each other off, the lowly broom becomes an item of military significance. Next, Geiger counters are used to check the troops for signs of radioactivity. Marching out of the shadow of the as awesome fighting men, symbolizing America's determination to keep strong in a restless world.